The buildings of downtown El Paso are quite unique, as unique as the history of the borderland. Just like history books, buildings can host details of past events from both outside and inside their high walls. Here in El Paso, we're lucky some historic buildings have been preserved and repurposed. They're quite beautiful and very important to the history of our city. One of the most iconic and historic buildings in downtown El Paso is the Plaza Theater, which is a national historic building of significance, meaning it is recognized by the United States government for a historical impact. The Plaza Theater was built in 1930. A few years prior, the location was a large produce warehouse. In 1927, Louis L. Dent, the owner of El Paso Theaters, purchased a property in order to provide El Pasoans with a unique theater experience. Construction of the Plaza Theater started in 1929, designed by Dallas architect W. Scott Dune. Dune designed over 30 theaters in Texas and Oklahoma. For the Plaza Theater, Dune chose a Spanish colonial revival style. During its construction, a mighty Wurlitzer Blaben III organ, which has over 1,000 pipes, was installed inside the theater. It is one of only six ever made. The theater officially opened its doors on September 12, 1930 to a packed house. A fun fact, it was the first theater in the United States to have air conditioning. However, by the 1970s, people were growing more accustomed to watching movies at home through the invention of television and modern chain theaters. By 1989, plans were made to demolish the theater in order to build a parking lot. However, a day before it was scheduled to be demolished, the El Paso Community Foundation, with the help of actress Rita Moreno, raised enough money to save the theater. However, because of years of negligence and failed upkeeping, the theater had lost much of its luster and things started to decay. In 2002, the city of El Paso approved a partnership with the El Paso Community Foundation to restore the Plaza Theater to its original appearance. After spending almost $38 million, the Plaza Theater reopened again on March 17, 2006 to another sold-out house for a performance of Ray Dance. Today, the Plaza Theater hosts multiple events, including concerts from acclaimed artists and entertainers, live plays and shows, and appearances by famous writers and comedians. They also host the annual Plaza Classic Theater Film Festival, one of the largest and longest film festivals in the world.